So here's a quick question for you. Can we make a usable, drinkable coffee or tea mug from this coconut? Now that, I don't know. But, but that's what we're all here to find out. Know what I'm saying? We're back! So here we go, we don't want to cut too much into the coconut because it's very thin. So I started off with using the little carbide cutter from Easy Wood Tools. Oh, we sell these as well in the shop, don't forget. Um, and I think that's going to be a bit too much because I think I'm going to cut too far into this because, you know, I mean, there's not a lot of wood in there, not a lot of coconut. So I'm gonna, I'm just sanding it now with the, with the 80 grit because I wanna try and get this to a smooth finish and then we can take it from there. But look at that, it's looking pretty cool. I think there's some really nice features in this as well. So uh, stay tuned folks, stay tuned. Let's see if we can achieve this or not. Oh, this is disgusting. <laughs> I mean, it's probably been in there for quite some time. <laughs> so, um, just got all that out of there. Oof, it's a bit stinky. Um, I'm just going to try and get the rest of this out of here. Uh, zoom you out a bit. Because um, we don't really need any of this in there. <laughs> Otherwise, it'll be a coconut coffee. So, but you see how thin this is in a minute, you'll see how thin, look at, really thin that is, but that's just jubbly. This is gonna make a really cool, cool mug, I reckon. If we can make this work and look cool. So, get the rest of this out and then I'm gonna clean out the inside. It's looking good. <laughs> it's like the Dr. Pimple Popper, like popping out all the pus. <laughs> like, uh, squeeze it out. <laughs> oh, mind you, a lot of people like that sort of stuff. <laughs> but it is quite sat weirdly satisfying. It 
I bet somebody watching is saying, go on, Nick, taste a bit. Taste it. <laughs> I mean, I would, but that looks so old. It look, really does look like it's been in there a long time. I don't know how long these things, like, you know, you can eat these things for, but... Oh, yeah, that is... I'm not sure. Maybe. I might do in a minute. <laughs> I can't get the rest of this out of here. I think I need a bit of a... Almost like a spoon. I don't want to break it because we need this bit. <laughs> right. <laughs> One of these will be better. I hope. Cool. <sighs> oh, yeah, it's a big chunk. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. Hey, eh? bit of pus for you. <laughs> Look what it's done to my spoon, it's bent it. It's out! <laughs> that took ages, absolutely ages, but there it is. It's actually quite a lot of room in there to be fair. I think it's gonna make a really good coffee mug or tea mug, but it's looking pretty cool so far. Uh, we got the little lid, but we don't need a lid. But we will be using this piece shortly. There's all of our coconut. Oh, it's... <laughs> Oh, it smells disgusting. <laughs> that is absolutely minging. Yeah, that's not that is not nice. That definitely's been in there a long time. And I am not gonna I'm not gonna eat that. Um I know a lot of you are thinking, go on, take a taste. But I think if I if I eat if I ate that now in front of you, I would literally be sick. So I'm not gonna. Well, let's crack on! Oh, now that is a lovely cup of jar. Oh, there it is, folks. Look at that. That is a funky coconut coffee mug. I think that turned out pretty well. Uh, what do you think? Let me know below in the comments <laughs> or whether or not you think that I could have done it any different or added any twist to it. But uh, it's kind of quirky, isn't it? It kind of looks like something you might see in Hogwarts. It's got food safe on it, so it's all good. And obviously inside, I didn't do anything with it. I just sanded it and cleaned it out, really. So, I mean, it's fine. It's just, you know, you would drink coconut from it. 
Oh, yummy. So I hope you like this one, folks. This definitely must be a quick video. Come on. I'm trying to just get out a few smaller kind of chunk bite videos and they never seem to turn out small. I don't know why. As always, folks, if you are not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. I am gunning for the one million subscribers uh, and I would love for you to subscribe to this channel. Uh, I've got some really crazy funky ideas coming up, so please stick with me. Um, if you're not a member of the channel, you can be a member to support me and the channel, help me do the things that I do for you. Or if you don't want to support me on uh, here, you can check me out on Patreon. But thank you for all my current members and Patreons. You are amazing. Don't forget folks, I am on the How To app and we have an update coming out for you very, very soon if it's not out already. The update will allow you to be able to share other people's posts. So a bit like Facebook, so if you see something really cool, you could post it, sorry, you could reshare it within the app. You could also share it out the app, but I think it's better that you share it in the app, it shows other users and your followers uh, how cool something might be or how cool a how-to is or a snap. Please check it out, it is on the app store. Uh, if you can't find it under how-to, just search Maker Central. And don't forget to come follow me. I'm on Instagram as well and Facebook, so please check me out there if you wish. I will put it on my website along with all the other bits and pieces as well. If you're looking for the link to my website, it's listed down below. Well, take care, folks. Thanks for joining me. Have a fantastic, super cool, funky weekend, and I'll see you for the next one. Take care.